Hi, I'm Wade from Confluent. Today we're going to talk about how to integrate our .NET application with a schema registry. The Confluent Kafka client includes support for three major message formats, including Protobuf, Avro, and JSON. Each of these three formats supports a message schema. This is basically a set of rules that outline the exact structure of a message. These schemas can be stored in an external service known as a schema registry. The Confluent Cloud built-in schema registry is a good choice here. To make use of the schemas, we can connect our serializers to the schema registry. The serializer will have its own version of the schema that it will use to serialize each message. The first time we try to serialize an object, we look for a matching schema in the registry. If a matching schema is found, the current message and any future ones that use the same schema will be sent to Kafka. However, if no matching schema is found, then any messages that use that schema will be rejected. Essentially, an exception is thrown. This ensures that each message going to Kafka matches the required format. To connect a schema registry, we need to provide the appropriate configuration. A basic configuration includes a URL for the schema registry and a method of authenticating. Here, we see a configuration that uses HTTP basic auth. However, we can also use other methods, such as an SSL key store. Much like with our producer, it's unlikely we would want to hard code these configuration values. Instead, we can leverage the ASP.NET configure method to create the schema registry config for us. We just need to provide it with an appropriate JSON configuration, and it will automatically convert it to a schema registry config object. In this case, we are fetching the section that we labeled schema registry. Once we have a config, we can create a schema registry client. The cached schema registry client will store copies of the schema in a cache. This reduces the number of round trips we need to make, which can improve performance and reliability. We can configure the size of the cache by adjusting the max cached schema's configuration value. The schema registry client is provided to the serializers through the constructor. Once the serializer has been given access to the schema registry, everything is ready. The serializer will handle downloading the schema and comparing any messages against it. This means that we can be confident that any messages published to Kafka will match the advertised schema. If you aren't already on Confluent Developer, head there now using the link in the video description to access the rest of this course and its hands-on exercises.